Hello my friends! Today I have a little bit of a different video for you. I want to start growing mushrooms and this is the first time that I'm doing this inside of my house. I have successfully done it a couple of years ago on logs in the forest but I thought that it would be awesome to grow some mushrooms right inside of my house. Okay so first of all we need the mushrooms and I have skipped a couple of steps by buying some uh, mycelium bags which are already shortly before fruiting so here we have oyster mushroom mycelium here we have lion's mane enoki raishi and shiitake and then I also got a little bit of equipment for mushroom growing at the inside and I'm going to make myself a still air box out of this container and also I'm going to make myself a growing room in this container here. All right, so first of all, I want to install a small ventilator. This one has five volts and it's important that you get fresh air inside of your growing chamber because uh, mushrooms need oxygen. They breathe it like we do and also they breathe out CO2. So we also have to make some holes so that the air can escape from the growing chamber as well. So first I want to find out what kind of diameter this is. I think it's four centimeter. All right, so I found a drill bit that works for this piece. It has about the same diameter as the circle in this device. So now I want to cut up a FFP2 mask. Yeah, I want to use it to cover the fan because otherwise it will pull in all kinds of germs. Alright, then next I want to show you my fogger or my fogging machine and this is the hose that comes with it and I happen to have this rubber uh, thing here and the hose fits through this perfectly. So now I want to drill a hole through my growing box in this bigger diameter which is 44 millimeters. Yeah, and also I'm going to drill more holes with the same bit uh, because I need some breathing holes for the box as well. Alright, so this is how the um, plastic container is going to stand in the room. And I've cut a hole into the side here because this is where the fogger is going to be. And now I'm going to insert this insulation thing. And this is where the hose of the fogger comes through. All right, so now it's time to disinfect the box a little bit. Yeah, and as I said before, Inside of the growing room it doesn't have to be sterile, it should only be clean because um, yeah, the fruiting blocks have already been fully inoculated. Alright, so now I want to try out if the fogger works. Okay, unfortunately my fogger is not working. I tried to figure it out but it doesn't work. So I have to buy a new fogger and that's going to cost me a couple of days. But it doesn't matter because instead of a fogger you can use a spray can instead to keep your mushroom blocks um, moist. So in the meantime I will order a new fogger and in the next couple of days I'm going to spray my mushrooms with a normal spray bottle with water. Alright so before I take my mycelium blocks and put them into the growing chamber 
I first want to make myself a steel air box and then I want to open up the mycelium blocks inside of this steel air box and I want to inoculate these sterile agar uh, dishes here which I bought from Amazon and this way I'm hoping that I can get a clean culture from each of these uh, mushrooms. down everything at the inside of the box, all of the surfaces. I wipe out the excess alcohol. We are going to um, disinfect the agar dish. Then I'm going to spray the oyster mushroom kit and this couple. Okay, now let's start working. And I'm going to cut open the bag. And I take out a little bit of mycelium, the white stuff. And I throw it into the agar. And I close the agar plate. And now I need to seal it with uh, parafilm. And with the parafilm, you enable that the uh, mycelium can breathe. Okay, that's it. Now we got our first agar plate. This is oyster. And today is the 5th of October. Okay, next I'm taking out the mushroom out of the still air chamber and I've already made an incision here and oyster mushrooms they don't need such a big uh, hole actually so I don't want to cut it open more but what I want to do is I want to fold down the bag like this so that it's a little bit more like tight because I only want that uh, the mushrooms come out here at this spot and not at the side where the bag is loose. And here we have lion's mane. Unfortunately my glove broke so I hope it's not contaminated. Alright, so now I'm going to continue the work for Inoki, Reishi and um, Shiitake. First I'm going to take a sample for my agar chance and then I'm going to throw the bags into the growing chamber. Okay, I'm done with the work. So I have uh, inoculated all my agar chance and I hope that I did a clean work. So I hope that they are not contaminated. We will see in a few days. Um, yeah, and then I put all of the bags inside of the growing chamber and yeah, one of the shiitake blocks did not fit the growing chamber anymore so I'm going to plant it in my garden which is also possible and I completely cut off the top of the shiitake because shiitake they don't really need a bag around when fruiting and this is the reishi by the way it's already making some fruit which is nice yeah enoki oyster and lion's mane all right so i will give you an update every few days and also in about two days i should get my fogger and then i can throw on the fan as well all right so i'm back in my basement it's two days later and i have already gotten a new fogger here but before i want to use it i first want to open up um, the box because the box is not sealing correctly so i want to use the seal here and glue it around the rim of the box. It will never seal 100% but there's no need to. The 
fan is working so it's pressing in air and now let's see if the new fogger is working so I already have put the pipe through the inlet and now let's switch it on inside it's working okay now the problem is that I can't let the fogger and the ventilator run all of the time because then we would have uh, too much of moisture inside of the box so I bought this device here which is measuring the humidity inside of the box and it also can control the humidity okay it says it has 81 or 82 percent of humidity inside of here right now so we are going to set it to 90 percent because that's the perfect humidity for mushrooms for most mushrooms now the next thing is the temperature inside of this room so right now it's like 21 degrees that's a little bit warm so I would like to get it cooler <clears throat> let's check what the mushrooms need so for the lion's mane you want to have a fruiting temperature in between 10 and 20 degrees uh, then next we have uh, shiitake it's also 10 to 20 degrees celsius then we have oyster mushroom 10 to 20 degrees celsius 90 percent humidity then we got enoki and this needs to be colder 7 to 18 degrees celsius and then the raishi oh here you need between 20 and 28 degrees celsius and 90 percent of humidity okay so what am i going to do now okay here's the plan i'm going to take out the enoki mushroom because i know that it's growing outside and right now it's October and it's going to get uh, the temperature outside which is between 7 and 18 degrees Celsius and I'm going to bury this uh, mushroom in my garden and I also have to take out the reishi mushroom and I will um, let it fruit in my office which has about 25 degrees Celsius or 24 so the reishi should be fine now let's take out the enoki block Okay. So I have put a small layer of soil onto the fruiting block and that's just so that uh, the block doesn't dry out and I hope that in a few days we will see the first enoki mushrooms okay we are now back inside and now it's time to get out the last shiitake bag so last but not least I want to take a look at my um, agar chars that I did two days ago so here the reishi does not really have mycelium growth I think I also have to take it to a warmer room the enoki has a little bit of growth shiitake the same oyster Ooh. yeah it also has some growth lion's mane hmm. so for mycelium growth most of the mushrooms need a warmer room so I'm going to take these agachas into my office as well okay it's a couple of days later now and as you can see I have changed my setup a little bit so um, now I have plugged in the fan separately without using the uh, humidity controller because I need the fan to run all of the time so that enough of fresh air gets into the tub uh, yeah everything else works great so now as you can see the shiitake mushrooms have grown quite a bit and the temperature inside is now 19 degrees celsius which is perfect and i've taken out the lion's mane and the blue oyster because they would not pin so here they are and outside tonight it was really cold so now it's time to take them back inside okay apparently it has worked so here you can see the first mushrooms growing 
Okay, so I have put uh, the lion's mane back inside into the chamber and this is the blue oyster and I think we can see some pinning here finally. Now the thing is I did a little bit of more research about the blue oyster mushroom and uh, it won't grow very well inside of this box here because it needs more fresh air. So uh, inside of the small box with only a small fan you will have a lot of CO2 accumulating and that's not good for the blue oyster mushroom because then it will make very thick stems and small caps which is not desirable. So I'm going to leave it outside now and yeah, I just put it here. I will spray it every now and then with a spray bottle to keep it moist. All right, my friends, so now it's about one day later and as you can see, I've taken out the oyster mushrooms and actually you can grow them like this or you can grow them sideways and I think I'm going to um, grow them sideways because I think they look much more beautiful if they come out at the side and every now and then when I think about it I come down into my basement and spray the mushrooms like this so now let's take a look inside of the box and harvest some shiitake the shiitakes are doing really good and now I want to harvest a couple of them for eating because today we are going to eat an Asian dish It's unbelievable how fast they grew. Um, just in a few days they gained this size here, which is amazing. Really nice mushrooms. So it's the first time that I'm growing shiitake inside of a box, inside of my house. And it's working great. Uh, the last time that I grew them was like five years ago in the forest when I inoculated a tree stem. And they were growing pretty good on that stem too. But for that you need to be in the forest. But sometimes I just don't have the time to go into the forest. So I find it more convenient to have the mushrooms growing in my basement. The temperature right now is 20 degrees again. But in the night it dropped down to 18. And that's perfect for growing mushrooms. Okay, so here at the side it looks as if the mushrooms are not making perfect fruiting bodies so maybe they are not getting enough of air in the corner and I think I'm going to install at least one more fan for this container here for this growing chamber but that's going to be on another video okay so now I want to turn around this block so that the mushrooms in front here have a little bit of more air and that's it for the day. Alright, so before I want to end the video, I want to show you the Raishi mushroom again and my Ega chas. So the Enoki mushroom is doing really good in the Ega cha. It has grown quite a lot. This is the Raishi. The oyster. And the lion's mane hasn't done much, but I'm sure it will grow soon. Yeah. And this is the Raishi mushroom. Not a lot of growth here, but that's normal because this mushroom is growing pretty slowly. So I think it will take like one and a half months until this is done. But hey, at least I already have one antler growing, so that's not too bad. Okay, so this is it. Thank you for watching guys. Um, if you want to see more mushroom growing videos, then make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. Stay tuned till next time.